Let's get you the latest now in the Ishta Jahan fake encounter case in the CBI and the Home Ministry have once again locked horns over it. That's right. The MHA has now asked the CBI for the case diary of the Ishta Jahan case. MHA sources are telling CNN and IBN that the case diary is needed to decide whether sanction to prosecute former IB officer Rajendra Kumar should be granted or not. But CBI sources are telling CNN and IBN once again that the agency is unwilling to share the case diary with the MHA. The CBI, meanwhile, may be seeking legal opinion on this issue. Now, tracking that story for us is Arunima. Arunima, it's a politically sensitive case, not the first time uh, the Ministry of Home Affairs and the CBI are locking horns over it. I want to ask you what problem the CBI has over handing over the case diary to the MHA. Well, the Central Bureau of Investigation feels that the case diaries are now part of the trial case now that the Sashik has been filed at the property of the court. So if the Home Ministry wants uh, to access the case diary, instead of asking the agency directly, it should uh, go to the court and say that we need a copy of the case diary. In the past, when uh, Law Minister Ashwini Kumar, former Law Minister Ashwini Kumar, had sought to uh, see CBI's investigation report, there was a lot of uh, uproar over that action and Supreme Court had also pulled up CBI. So using that uh, as a background, Central Bureau of Investigation is saying we cannot give it to MHA, we'll seek legal opinion. But we'll have to wait and see hmm. if that legal opinion goes in favor of what CBI officers are thinking at this moment. Arunima, thank you for getting us up to speed there. You'll find, as usual, much more on that on our website, ibnlive.com.